sometimes your wish just come true. Mike and I are here on our very, very first wish cruise. Mike and I have done space cruises <laughs> on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruisers, but we've actually never done a cruise on the planet Earth in water. So this is our very first time. Day one, we're gonna take you along and show you everything. Um, this is so amazing. Yeah, parking was fairly simple. All you had to do was kind of pull up to the, um, the side and then the porters will kind of take your bags with you and then parking, uh, we're Terminal 8, right? Terminal 8 in uh, Port Canaveral. So this is day one. Uh, we'll have a mini little mini series for the co next couple of days. Show you all the dining experiences, all the performances. Can't wait. Oh, this is so wonderful. So we arrived a little bit early and Disney sprinkled a little pixie dust on us and we were able to actually get in well before our boarding time. And so before we board the Wish, let us kind of like give you a quick look of what Terminal 8 looks like. So Terminal 8 is Disney only, uh, which is not common. A lot of other cruise lines have to share terminals. So this allows Disney to kind of curate the whole experience when we go in. There's a little bit of magic everywhere that you kind of look at. Uh, they've got different locations of the parks and then they have, you know, where the islands are and stuff like that all around the floor. Just nice little details as you're kind of walking into the terminal. So right up ahead here, we've got the Disney Magic. This is their first cruise line. So this is a full model of the entire ship and it shows kind of like all the little details and things that are going on. And if you actually walk around to the back side of this model, it's cutaway. So you can actually see into the rooms and the structure of the ship and a lot of the neat details that are there. Um, you know, this is kind of prominently displayed in the middle, so you can easily walk all around it and check it out. It's great. I'm actually kind of like looking forward to going and checking out some of the other ships. Something special just happened, um, very magical. Apparently we just got ourselves upgraded to a con concierge level room. First time cruising, never done a standard room before, let alone a concierge, so this is gonna be a lot of fun and we're gonna go ahead and then take you along as well. Ah, oh, look at her, she's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay, boarding passes ready to go. And we got some photo pass photos. As I understand, photo path. Oh, we have our own special waiting room. How cool is this? Let's take a look at our beautiful ship from the side. That's this is, I believe, one of the newer ships. Obviously, the newest one that is going to be coming online will be the treasure. So hopefully, one day, well, we're going to collect some treasures. But right now, we are just fulfilling our wish. She is absolutely stunning. And apparently there's a whole like water right up there, the aqueduct. I'm ready to get on the ship. I think we just missed one little boarding group here. So we're kind of just sitting here in the little lobby waiting to get ready. As you can see, we've got the wonderful wish behind us. So ah, there, we're there really she excited. Check-in process is super simple. Um, they just had the little like loading area where it was a pick, like a drop-off area. And then they'll take your bags. Um, the porters will take your bags. And then you can just go ahead and park. Um, over at the parking structure so mm -hmm. then afterwards they we uh, make sure you bring your passport that is one thing that you definitely will need model of her in um, in Disney's Hollywood Studios by um, of One Man's Dream at the, by the exit queue and I've always wanted to just see this the bronze statue in person and this is gorgeous oh and there's Lucifer hello hi Lucifer are you catching a mouse oh there are our mices hi Jacques Jacques and hi Gus oh my gosh 
Lucifer, you're up to no good. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is, she is beautiful. Holy moly. Okay, so I think there's a din like there's a welcome lunch for the concierge guests. And so we have the Roy Disney side and the Walt Disney side. So we're actually gonna go over to the Walt Disney side. But yeah, we'll uh we'll show you around in a little bit. But I think uh I think food is first. Oh hi, hi Jacques, hi Gus. Do we see any hidden Mickeys? Oh, look at her. We've got her slipper right here, right by the base of the grand staircase. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is beautiful. Did you get the Uh-huh, I got the slipper and that's the clock strikes 12. <laughs> it's more like a lock-in key. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, so the Walt side is for the uh, welcome dinner, or uh, welcome lunch, rather, uh, at the 1923 restaurants, one of the main restaurants here. Okay. So on Cinderella's Roll Table, you get the wish wand, but here, you actually get a wish wand on the wish. <gasps> I am absolutely thrilled, oh my gosh. And of course, let's take a look at the backside of Lucifer and Jacques and Gus. Hello, it's you. Hello, it's you. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're heading into the restaurant now and uh, we'll show you what that welcome lunch is all about. Named for the year that Walt Disney Company was founded, 1923 aboard the Disney Wish has been designed as an elegant celebration of the company's legacy, paying homage to the golden age of animation and offering a tasteful tribute to its Californian heritage. Combining classic Hollywood glamour with a dash of Disney whimsy, 1923 features two lavish appointed dining rooms aptly named after the men behind the magic of the original film studio, Walt and Roy Disney. Today, we're in the Walt section. As you can see, the rooms are adorned with more than a thousand drawings, props, and other tools of the trade, providing an inside look of the evolution of Disney animation. So this is the lunch menu for the welcome lunch at for the concierge guests. So let's see, we have some sliced smoked salmon as appetizers, beef and banana, some salads. I don't know. I think I'm gonna probably just stick with the protein. Uh, entrees, pasta, salad, sandwiches. Beef tenderloin sounds delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I probably will need one of each. <laughs> And guess what? It comes with a baby little corn bag shaped like a ship. That is really, really cute. Oh my goodness. I think it's just a little slice, but oh, it looks like a ship to you. Yeah, it does. Oh, All right, and my beautiful tenderloin is here, cooked to medium rare perfection. Mike's got the lobster salad, and you can definitely see the lobster, it's not hidden. Okay, we just finished the welcome lunch, and that was fantastic. The food was really, really, really good. but. Now we're actually going to head to our stateroom and show you what the, uh, I guess, the stateroom on the concierge level looks like. And what you just saw was the first wish. And guess what? We have Captain Minnie. And of course, there's Belle up there. We just saw him. Cinderella and Prince Charming when we were walking in, but now we have Belle. And you can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it says, if you keep on Please believing, the, the dream that you wish will come true. Oh, wonderful. Okay. And now we are gonna go hopefully see our stateroom. 
in these lounge areas. They have like beautiful, oh, you know what? <laughs> that is a Mickey. Uh -huh. I love that so much. Look at this beautiful mirror. Oh my gosh. And let's see if we have a view. Oh yeah, we definitely have a gorgeous view that's outside. So we'll check out the balcony in a little bit, but oh, look at this. Okay. This is the room. They've got a nice little curtain to kind of divide up the guests. And I think that may be also like a Murphy bed over here. And then I think the the couch turns into a bed as well. Nice. Ooh, nice little sockets. We've got USB-C and also USB-A. And just check out this gorgeous, gorgeous mural with Tangled. It's got the lantern scene. Oh, I love that so much. And on the duvet, they have the wish, if you can see that. Okay, let's see what's over here. Okay, so this is the, the bathroom. Oh, this is super cute. Okay. Wow, for a cruise ship, this is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful shower. It's actually quite big, but it, 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 I, mean, I mean, it is a, I guess it's a bathtub. So you, you do have to like cross over and a good size mirror and the towels also have the Mickey shaped um, cruise line logo on there. A beautiful full length mirror. Cool. And then you have your like emergency. We have our emergency stuff. and we have a life jacket up there. Oh, this is super cute. And then lots of storage. This room is actually quite big. And oh, and robes. Oh, oh, they we got the wish robes. Make any, and slippers. And slippers. Ah! Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the, um, the washroom, the actual like toilet. So yeah, so they basically have the toilet the and the lavatory. shower, the, the lavatory. lavatory, the lavatory and the shower and oh, this is beautiful. Okay, well that's it. That's pretty much our have beautiful out, room. I have balcony? not. Mike, why don't you do the honor and take take us to the balcony? Oh my gosh, look at this view. No, I mean it's a it's a very it's actually a pretty good size good size balcony for sure. They've got a couple of like lounge chairs and a little. Like table in the middle. Oh wow, okay. This is gonna be so gorgeous as we sail.
think we're gonna be hanging out uh, over here quite a bit. I mean, just, I mean, take a look at this, this view. It's absolutely gorgeous, right? Wow, okay. So far, so good. Okay, so this is Mickey's Smostack Barbecue. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh my goodness, everything looks amazing. We got some mac and cheese. That looks like, is that pulled pork? Yeah. Pulled pork, we have barbecue ribs and some sausage. Oh my goodness. Okay, and it looks like it's going to be the same over here. We got carving station. All right, wow, this is a really huge deck area. Amazing. Okay, and we got some pizza and pie. Okay, all right. That's a it looks good. I mean, on these cruises, you just, I'm pretty sure you're just never going to go hungry. We got Donald's Cantina. Oh, this looks like more like Mexican inspired cuisine, which makes sense. I mean, Donald over in Epcot, he's got his uh, sombreros in Epcot, Mexico. That's where his tomato food is. So, ooh, okay, we got soda stations. Wow. This is a huge dining area. Holy moly. And then we have some coffee. And how convenient. This is literally like right by the big old stage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, they play movies around and then you've got lounge chairs. This is super cute. And they also have a cute little bar over here. You got, to, okay, this is more of your beer. And no, oh, I guess they can make cocktails as well. So, wow. Okay, and then looks like this is the kiddie pool area. Super impressive. Okay. Apparently there's lobster around, so we're gonna, we still haven't seen those yet. So let's check that out. Oh, more food over here for sure. Beautiful. It seems like it's more of the same over here. We've got sodas and a nice little, ooh, something smells really, really good. Let's check that out. Okay, sounds like over here there's like a more, like a fuller bar we got. Oh, okay, this is definitely a, hello. Okay, we got the lookout. This is definitely all your, all your full bar over here. And then we have Minnie's ice cream. Oh my gosh, okay, so soft serve and everything okay what's over here what's on this side this side we have goofy's grill okay it looks like this is like mac and cheese salad hamburgers and and we're back to uh mickey and friends uh festive foods okay so that's kind of what this whole situation is all about. Very, very cute. Okay, we're gonna check out Marceline Market. Obviously, Marceline has pretty great significance to the Walt Disney Company. Um, as Walt Disney actually grew up in Marceline, Missouri. So that is kind of the namesake. But supposedly there's some lobsters here. Over here by Marceline. Oh, okay, so I can do it. We got in by way of the restrooms. Ah, cute. Oh, this is a nice little lounge area. We got a full bar over there. I only want to eat the good stuff. That is absolutely right on. Okay, ooh, chef's corner. I'd like to see what is over here for chef's corner. I mean, this is, it seems like it's more, more adult oriented food than the buffet by the Mickey's little buffet corner. We've got some carving station and ooh, some charcuterie, beautiful. And some signature choices. What's over here? Ooh, that looks delicious. Oh, dumplings, pot stickers. Okay, beautiful. We got the kids' corners, and I love the fact that the kids' corner counters are kiddos' height. I love that so much. 
And, okay, so this is definitely way more um, adult themed, so the food is way more adventurous. Got some salads. Is that tuna or falafel? Beautiful, okay. And we certainly have more pastries over here. Oh, yeah, this is kind of similar to the one that's by the concierge lounge. So we have some fruit salads, got carrot cake, which we saw at the, uh, the 1923 restaurant as we were having a welcome lunch. Oh, beautiful cookies. Hello. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's like little upside down flower pots. Gorgeous. This place is absolutely, oh, here we go. This is the famous lobster and shrimp station. Oh, look at that. We've got some cocktail shrimp and lobster, tail legs, salmon, seafood. So yeah, these are, this is sort of your definitely satisfying your seafood craving. Wonderful. Very, very cute. Okay, here we go. And we have some Bambi themed little arts on the wall. Uh, uh, what's over here? Pantry favorites. Oh, apple crumble. So this is more of the dessert. So it looks like it is sort of mirroring the other side. Okay, wow, this place is absolutely huge. Um, but yeah, so we already saw the similar food selections on the other side. I mean, it's just a huge, pretty huge ship. So obviously the more uh, places, and of course we have also the kiddos corner. Okay, I'm pretty sure the food lineup should be very similar to what we saw on the other side, and they also have coffee and tea. This place is absolutely huge, and let's check out the view. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I think we're pretty much done with Marceline Market. Um, yeah, wonderful. So, I mean, if you want just, you know, safer options for kiddos and picky eaters, I think the, the Minis Buffet is probably uh, more of a safe option, but over here in Marceline Market, you definitely have a lot more adventurous choices for our more adventurous eaters. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, they got lobsters, so why not, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to get back to uh, my stateroom and we'll go from there. is they also have a hyperspace lounge. It's kind of like, oh, they have Chandrilla Starline glasses over here. Look at that, that's a uh, Mustafarian something. I don't remember the name of it, but wow, that's so cool. Excellent. And this is what it looks like. And let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna squish the, squish the door open here. Oh, this so reminds me of CSL. Sort of like the Halcyon. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is very, very neat. I mean, we've got we've got some of that the little concoctions over here. That's very, very cool. Oh, okay. No, this is, this is all right. This is not quite. The supply lounge, right? I guess that's because it's it's really it's cute. And we are at our hotel. 
Oscar station, which is the mandatory pre-sailing drill uh, for emergency and that type of announcement. So we are in the Luna Lounge. Um, we're muster station H. H. So apparently they put, the best muster station. Yes, they group different folks from different deck and staterooms into different muster stations, and you're you have to watch a mandatory safety uh, announcement video. So that's where we are right now. And this is what Luna looks like. It's a cute little sort of an amphitheater. Yeah, because I think this is where they're gonna host a lot of like little activities later, stage shows, as well as karaoke. There we have it. Buster Drill was nice and simple. They just demonstrated some of the ship's um, evacuation procedures out of uh, life jackets and it was kind of an unlikely emergency, what happened. And yeah, so that wasn't that wasn't bad at all. So now we're actually gonna head over to the ship's sailing party. I think we're we're about to pull away from shore, so that will be really exciting. We're just walking through the buffet area that smell looks everything just smells amazing. But we do have dinner tonight. Apparently tonight is a marble dinner themed dinner tonight. So alright, let's take a look at the ship sailing party here. We have the marbles today for dinner. Uh, it's our first dinner rotation. It's actually giving me very much Pimp's Test Kitchen and Disney California Adventure vibes. So. Like I said, very Pimp's. Pimp or uh, Spider Man Blood Singer? motion sickness, I would say that definitely be a little prepared. I mean, there were like air patches and Dramamine. I would say take some because it is, you're, you're not on, you know, think, think, things are moving underneath you. And uh, one of the things that's really, really interesting is all the chairs that we've been to multiple places, they're super heavy. And I, can, I think it's for a good reason because you don't want to be sliding around. So, all right, well, we're just gonna, you know, take, take our time and, uh, we are in international waters now, and we're gonna <laughs> check out our menu and make our choices. Okay, this menu is so cool. It's heavy. Avengers Technologies Showcase. Okay, very good. Let's see. Okay, so we have shrimp, we have bao buns. Ooh, bao buns are always fun. <laughs> From Web Technologies. Hearts of Palm with cilantro and lime, and salted cremini and oyster mushrooms. Ooh, that'll be a really good um, plant-based option, hopefully. Bread services, you got marble loaf with red bell pepper and dipping sauce. Okay, wow. So we have a Balanconda, Sokovian, and Stark Industry. Very, very cool. Ooh, 
They've got some vegetarian options. They have a ricotta gnocchi and a shiitake and tofu udon. That actually sounds delicious. I don't know. I might have to go with that. That sounds really, really good. Even the table setting is super cute. They oh, have, yes, look at They that. have the Avengers plate. Oh, my gosh. And the tablecloth. I don't know if you yes, can see it. the tablecloth. It. It's very Pim's, right? I don't know if the camera's showing it up, but that is definitely very Pim's. Oh, oh my gosh. Even the utensils have the little Avengers oh. insignia. Oh, that is very nice. Okay, I love that very much. We got the Pim's in the centerpiece. Cute. Hi, I'm Scott Lang. Um... But you might know me as Ant Man. Okay, honestly, the food so far has been really, really good. The fowl bun, they had the pork belly, it just melted, absolutely melted in your mouth. And I got the mushroom the mushroom was actually the standout. Super flavorful, umame, and so savory. That was gorgeous. So uh, we actually ordered <laughs> a lot of food. <laughs> Apparently at these dinners and on cruise and cruise ships, you can uh, you can order to your heart's content. So we actually ordered essentially 200. So we'll, we'll, we'll continue to take, take you along on day one of our wish cruise. You don't have to answer. I can't hear you. Look at this tuna. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. It's perfectly cooked. Yeah. Ooh. I love no And then we've got also the udon. I think Mike got the udon as well. And then. Beautifully, it is the beef tenderloin. That looks very similar to what we had this for yeah. lunch, but okay, can't wait to dig in here. This is really, really, really good. You know, we don't have a secret handshake. So, food was actually quite good, um, even though we just ate a ton, there's always room for dessert, right? But yeah, we also just got to experience the worlds of Marvel, Avengers Quantum Encounter. Basically the dinner show that was sort of interspersed throughout the dinner and mid-courses. The show was pretty entertaining and had some, you know, interactive elements like the Quantum Core, but there wasn't a whole ton of character interactions like your basic character dining experiences at Disneyland or Disney World, so that was a little bit different. There you go, there you go, awesome, thank awesome, you, thank, thank you, you. Say, thank, thank you, Spidey, take thank care now. Take so we got the Sunday. we got the Pim Test Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Beautiful, okay. It looks like a donut. It is a like donut, it's a donut Sunday. Donut with chocolate. There's him. <laughs> the turn down service has, oh, has finished. Uh, we got a little chocolate sweets for the evening. Oh, this is beautiful. And look at that. So there's a little Murphy bed that pulls down as a bunk bed. And we have Fairy Godmother up there on the ceiling, just hidden. And we also have a beautiful little little single Murphy bed over here as well. Oh, this is beautiful. And that's what we have. This is the room at night on day one. So one of the really cool details is the after turndown service. Uh, there's a light that shines right on the lantern's mural on the back splash. It just makes it look like the lanterns are glowing. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that touch. Day one was fantastic. We did so much this today. So obviously we had the sail away party. Um, you know, got on the accidentally got onto the concierge floor. Um, did a lot of stuff. Uh, just kind of like hanging out on the ship, exploring it. Obviously, this is our first time, so there's just so much to do. Hopefully, you enjoyed our first day. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to day two, so we will talk to you soon.